Tesla Cybertrucks updated origami style windshield and dash is now teased in a patent. Simon Alvarez has details from Tesla Radi and also Insider, Inside TV is saying that Elon Musk has mentioned that the Tesla Cybertrucks production version would be extremely similar to the all electric pickup trucks controversial prototype from 2019. While this may largely be the case, Elon Musk has hinted at some new features that would be included in the production Cybertruck, apart from updated door handles and rear wheel steering capabilities for example, Musk also hinted at other great things coming for this electric vehicle from Tesla. Welcome back dear friends, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. As we go on, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. So a recently published patent application from Tesla has now hinted at a couple more updates of Cybertruck's design that may be coming on the Cybertruck, at least on the design front. The patent titled Automotive Glass Structure Having Future Lines and Related Method of Manufacture describes a way to form extremely durable glass structures with aggressive curves and folds. Using such a technique, Tesla stated that it could create components like windshield with very aggressive future lines that would otherwise not be possible with controversial glass forming method. The patent application's illustrations show, showcased how the system would be used in a vehicle such as the Cybertruck. One of the images in the patent featured the far left and right side of the Cybertruck's windshield having aggressive future lines that, may, uh, that make the all-electric pickup truck even more futuristic and CGI-esque. Uh, this is quite different from the windshield used on the prototype Cybertruck, which seemed completely flat, notes Alvarez in Tesla Radi. Here's a quote from that patent. The first glass structure, 60, 602A, may represent a windshield positioned on a vehicle and formed according to the techniques described herein. In some embodiments, the first glass structure, 602A, may be multi-layer. Thus, the first glass structure may have future lines. Uh, as an example, these future lines may have radi of curvatures of between 2 mm and 5 cm. In some embodiments, the future lines may represent an angle of between 46 to 60 degrees or 50 to 75 degrees and so on. If you remember when Elon Musk was uh, filming uh, with Jay Leno the Cybertruck edition episode, he talked about how difficult it is to make those curves in Cybertruck to make it full of light. So I think this patent application is going to help with that. Now, Alvarez also notes in Tesla Radi that Tesla's unique glass patent application is not limited to the exterior of vehicles. Still using the Cybertruck as an example, Tesla highlighted that its glass forming patent could also be used to create the all-electric pickup truck's dashboard, which was made of recycled paper comp composite materials in the prototype. Tesla's patent application showed that the Cybertruck's dashboard could be made of glass instead, giving the vehicle an aesthetically pleasing interior accent. A film layer used with the folded glass would provide the dashboard of the vehicle with additional durability, ensuring that the component does not shatter during impacts like I did during the Cybertruck's presentation right? So now figure 7 in that application illustrates an example of an interior 700 of a vehicle such as the vehicle described uh, in, the uh, in the figure. The interior includes a glass dash with a feature line. As described above, the feature line may have a radius of curvature of between 2 mm and 5 cm. In some embodiments, the feature line may represent an ang uh, angle of between 45 
45 to 60 degrees or degree and so on that was a quote from the um, uh, par, uh, from the patent application here is another quote that says the glass dash may be formed according to the techniques described above for example the glass dash may be formed as described in figure 2 thus a single layer of glass may be used and locally heated or locally heated to form the future line in some embodiments a film or layer may be positioned below the glass dash for example the film or layer may be used to present a visual design or may be used to ensure the glass does not shatter so the Cybertruck's design has already been finalized and it remains to be seen if the folded glass components outlined in the patent application would actually make it to the all-electric pickup truck's production version. Tesla watchers would likely not need to wait for long, however, as the company has not noted that the Cybertruck should enter its beta stage by the end of this year with production starting at Giga Texas next year in the meantime friends we, it remains to be seen um, whether this patent will materialize in the production of Cybertruck coming next year or will be implemented further down the line speaking of the Cybertruck it looks like Tesla Giga Texas is already possibly uh, is already receiving some parts that may be needed for the Cybertruck's production Tesla Giga Texas received fresh Idra shipment which hints at new gigapress machines in this report Maria Merano says from Tesla Radi a massive Idra uh, shipment was delivered to Tesla Gigafactory Texas site recently the arrival of another Idra shipment suggests that Giga Texas may be setting up a new gigapress soon Idra is the company from Italy that makes the gigapresses possibly for a new production line the same singular Hydra box was recently spotted in a drone video of Giga Texas based past videos and pictures of Tesla's Texas factory. Giga pressors for the front cast and rear cast of the Model Y were already installed in the facility. This is why I'm thinking that this may be for the Cybertruck but I will tell you a little bit more in, the, uh, in a little, little bit later. And if recent reports are correct Model Y test production has began in Giga Texas. Now um Thus, uh, recent Gigapress box could then contain parts for another 6,000 ton Gigapress that is used for the Model Y production line. Tesla aims to start Model Y production before the end of this year, so getting all the machines installed and the assembly lines in order right now would make really good sense. However, Tesla may already have its initial Model Y assembly lines ready to go, like I just said, which seems more likely given its production goals. If that is is the case the latest Idra box could contain parts for the Cybertruck's 8,000 ton gigapress. During the last earnings call, Tesla shared that the Cybertruck would be moving into its beta phase later this year. Recently, Tesla patents for the Cybertruck were released as well, hinting at some design changes in the electric pickup truck, which support the company's update during the last earning call. Yeah, the Cybertruck is currently in its alpha stages. We finished basic engineering the architecture of the vehicle with the Cybertruck we're redefining how a vehicle is being made shared Lars Morvi vice president of vehicle engineering during the second quarter earnings call and here's another quote from Muravi he said as Elon said it carries much of the structural pack and large casting designs of the Model Y being built in Berlin and Austin obviously those take priority over the Cybertruck but we are moving into the beta phases of Cybertruck later this year and we will be looking to ramp that in production and take it to Texas after Model Y is up and going Moravi has said so what do you think friends about these developments about Cybertruck do you think Tesla will uh, manage to bring the Cybertruck into production this year please let me know in the comment section below and what do you think about the Cybertruck's new application uh, patent application in the meantime this is Armin Harian from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle impartial news and ring the bell so you don't miss my coverage and also please give us thumbs up like this video if you found it informative and helpful tweeting out would be greatly appreciated have a great day god bless you everyone i'll see you soon in our next report today report today